What's up, guys? It's Past You to Harry here from KXB 101 Intro to Entertainment. Um, today, I'm just going to be taking you through a, a tutorial on how to edit in uh, iMovie for your second assessment piece, the video blogs. Um, this shouldn't take too long. Um, I taught Cam how to edit in about oh, half an hour before the semester started, and uh, he's gotten pretty good. I think so far, so this should be a piece of cake. Um, if you see me looking that direction, um, I'm not easily distracted. I just have two screens operating, and this screen has uh, me on it. I can see myself on the. Hi, Harry. Hey. I can see myself there, so I'm not being distracted. I'm just watching myself, um, make sure everything's still working. So, uh, Let's, let's get started. Um, iMovie is the standard video editing software for all Apple computers. Um, as you can see, I have a lot of Adobe software. That's for um, highly advanced software that uh, I might show you a bit later on if we got time. Just a comparison with uh, iMovie. But um, iMovie, as I said, is standard on all um, Apple computers and it's just here the purple star under your applications folder of your finder so let's open it up and see what we've got alrighty so I have been doing a little um, editing myself and just getting something to show you guys uh, I just got a bunch of trailers uh, movie trailers off the internet for the Oscar Best Picture nominees, and just took took bits and pieces out, and just piece them together to see what see what we could make. Um, so this won't this won't appear when you open iMovie, but what you'll have to do is go to start off with go File and New Event, right there, third one down. Just go New Event, and it'll give you the date. We can make it something else. So. KXB 101 A2 for assessment 2 vlogs, whatever. Completely up to you. Um, <clears throat> and then from here, we're going to go create this little plus sign on the top. And move two options movie or trailer. Uh, as you can see there, combine videos, photos, and music to make your own movie. That's what we're going to go with because that's what we want to make. We go movie. And then it comes up with a series of themes that are standard on iMovie that are for people who want to make their uh, productions look sort of flashy and colourful and fun. So let's have a little bit of neon. Neon looks insane. That was intense. Um, and film strip just... So yeah, a lot of options you can go with. Um, choose one if you want. Um, I'm not sure if you get extra marks for how it looks. Cam, do you want to maybe clarify that? I don't know. Um, but usually we just want to have a blank, a blank canvas to work with. So I'm just going to select no theme. And we'll go create. And you're going to give your movie a, um, a name. So you're going to have three videos to um, put together. So I'll call this KXB 101A2 um, Video 1 or something. Something seems easy to, so you can track them as you make them. And see there's our little movie project right there. It's blank at the moment. And down here is our timeline where we will put the clips that we want in. And this big arrow, import media, we're going to click that, and it takes us to a, our finder. Now this is one of my hard drives that I use for all my um, transferring of files. And let's just open up a, what have we got here? Let's go sports footage, which was for a video I did last year. Um, Bigger basketball one. 
and that's how you edit that's how you drop in um, your media you just select it in the uh, finder and just on this sidebar you will I don't know, choose where you may have saved the file and just be um, searching for it and getting your uh, media all sorted and into your project um, and then you just select it and go import which will be there but I don't want to import anything right now because I have no need to do it but we'll jump back to my one that I'd started and then you'll see all your media here in little long in long strips like this and as you move your mouse over them there's an orange line that gives you a position of what you're going to be looking at and you can watch through if you keep it there and you press the click it press the space bar it'll start playing through you may have the theory of everything that uh, Eddie Redmayne won Best Actor for in the Oscars. Great film. Um, and now that I've clicked, you'll see that it's all uh, highlighted with a yellow uh, border, I guess. Now this means the whole clip is selected, and we have two options, uh, depending on if you've got a short clip that you want the whole, if you want the whole clip, you're going to click it and, and see you got that little film strip there in your mouse. We're just going to drag that down to our timeline and there it is. There's a trailer all down there. Um, what we are going to do, and so if you've got a, so that's how you drop in a long clip or short clip rather, you drop that all in. Uh, but if you want a select bit, if you want a, just a tiny bit of it, we'll jump down to my next trailer, which is the Grand Budapest Hotel. I'm going to rate it R. Ooh. So what you're going to do, you're going to click and you're going to drag along the little strip there. And you see just a select bit is highlighted with that yellow border. And that means you've selected just a small bit of the clip and we're going to click and drag that again and there it is right there in the in our timeline now we'll jump back to my timeline that I've already got here here we go and I've dropped in bits of Birdman, Whiplash, uh, The Imitation Game, Selma, American Sniper and The Grand Budapest Hotel so from these clips, uh, we've got when you, once you've got all your clips together and you've dropped them in the uh, timeline down here, you want to start piecing them together. So what I've here, I'll show you what I've got so far. How did we end up here? This place is horrible. Don't worry about what the other guys are thinking. We got Buddy Rich here. You have six minutes to complete the task. Is it even possible? No, it takes me eight. Things that no one can imagine. What? Selma it is. Here is the next great battle. Selma's to play me. And they read it. Dr. King! I tell you, that white boy can hit. It is unacceptable that they use their power to keep us voiceless. Oh, Let me ask you a question, Chris. Would you be surprised if I told you that maybe I supported you over here in 64? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I guess I just need you. I'm ready to come home. Lisa, do you tell the mother right now? She's been murdered. What did you think I did it? Indeed, that's what we provide in our own modest, humble, insignificant. No, fuck it. Oh. Sorry about that. <laughs> and see, so yeah, that's what I've got. Uh, that's just a series of clips that I've selected and just dropped in. And uh, 
From there, you'll notice there's a, across the timeline, I wish I could zoom in, but across the timeline, you've got, between clips, you've got either this gray vertical bar, or this symbol, the white square with two black triangles. Now this symbol represents a transition. So that's a transition in there, as it says, cross dissolve transition. And this blank line is where you can put transitions. Now, if you may have put a little too much of your clip in, um, this line, if you double click it, gives you a, a precision editor uh, window. And it gives you the clip of, so the two clips that you click between and the source clip, uh, everything that follows it or everything that comes before it. And if we can, we can click and drag and add some more of the footage, but we don't want that. We want to take that out. So that's so we see J.K. Simmons, and maybe we can add a bit more up top. Miles Teller. So yeah, your precision editor, nice and easy. You can also uh, uh, no, you can't worry about that. You can click and drag to maybe get it just right. If you see this little number here where my where this hand is, there's a number which says 3.5s, that's 3.5 seconds. So the clip uh, the clip that you're using is now 3.5 seconds in duration, and if I drag it, it gets bigger or smaller. So how long you want the clip to be, make it three seconds, and then we'll just go to close, precision editor, and then we're back to the normal timeline. To add a transition, it, it works the same. So, to add, so you'll have to do your precision editing before you add transitions because you can't uh, double-click the transition and open up the precision editor. It gives me the option to make the transition longer. Let's make it three seconds, and then we'll just see that. So how long that was, and we got a mix of. Stuff in there, it just Somewhere. looks a bit choppy, so undo, undo that, control C that. And over on this bottom left, yeah, that's left, yeah, bottom left, uh, you see a content library. Now, this has your transitions, uh, titles, maps, backgrounds, iTunes, sound effects, garage band. Uh, if you click on one, there's your transitions, and you see that it's replaced your um, media library with the list of transitions that you can choose from. Um, and if you uh, run your orange line across them, you'll see the transition in action on your window there. Let me go from the mountains and trees to the mountains and water. Look at that. And that's on everyone, so you got a cross dissolve, a blur, fade to black, all these different fancy, oh that's fancy, that puzzle, ripple, all fancy stuff that you can choose from. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a fan of the cross dissolve, nice and simple, and just gives you a nice soft transition effect as you may have seen down here. And we've also got titles, so um, words that you can put on your uh, project, on your video, and you can see them there, Have, see the animation that might come with it, so you see the, so if you just drag your mouse over the uh, little tile there for each one, you can actually see what it looks like and what it's going to do in your video. Um, and we'll just add a, what do we want, 
we'll drop that, so we'll click, and we'll drag this, and then you'll see a little purple little wind, uh, box there, and we'll drop it there, so we'll drop it on top of Birdman, and we're going to enter our text, so what are we going to say, um, we'll go Michael Keaton, and Birdman, I don't know, whatever, what you want to do, if you can, you can make it your title, title vlog, so KXB 101 vlog number two, oh, sorry, number one, and maybe your name, Harry Lee, whatever. At, do at your disposal. So, and then up top here we can change the, um, the font, uh, what's a good font? Well, isn't all, all they're all Apple fonts on here, so nothing much to choose from, but we'll just stick with Avenue Book. It's a nice generic one. You can change the justification of it, left, center, right. You can make it bold, italics, or give it an outline, a color outline, which we you got font color, red. Some might call it pink. No. We'll just stick with white. So, change the font size as well. Something that's legible, easy to read. Um, and so we've got that now over Mr. Keaton. And we'll play that through. And it appears. How did we end up here? This place is horrible. It's not too bad, Michael. Um, so yeah, same with the sorry transitions. You click and drag on the transitions as well, and with the text you can click and drag and sort of put it where you want. Put it over a transition like that. This place is horrible. Don't worry about what the other guys are doing. Yeah. So iMovie is very much a click and drag dynamic for editing. Um, nice and simple, whereas in Adobe Premiere Pro you've got all these different tools for cutting and for adjusting and it's all um, letter based. You press the letter and adjust it and it's all very um, uh, very advanced skill, but it's just click and drag, nice and easy, um, which is what you want for an assignment, let's be honest. Um, You'll also notice a, uh, a green bit of bar down here that's got 1.9 M, 14 Glorious Victories. Um, this is a song. You may have heard it playing over the back there. How did we end up here? This place is horrible. Don't worry about what the other guys are thinking. You're here Here's that little reason. instrumental here. music in the background there. So, you might want to put a bit of music over your vlogs. I'm not sure if you're, you might be allowed to. Um, it just adds a nice sort of um, additional sort of element to it. And there's a line that runs across the middle there, this black one where the two arrows come up. That's adjust your volume. So you click and drag that up to make it louder. Or go down to get soft. 100% um, is usually the max you want to go to because you see that it starts turning yellow as we go down as it gets louder. If you keep going up, that'll increase 400, and you'll see there's bits in red. You hear how loud that is. When it gets to red, that's called peaking, and it's not very nice to hear peaking volume because it just gets all distorted and loud and not too pleasant. So background music you usually want to keep down low, around 20 to 35%, and my mouse just put that to zero. Um, bring it up to about 35%, lower depending on how loud the song is originally. Go play. How did we end up here? And if you've got a clip that you don't want any audio in, 
one of your video clips, you'll see these blue bars under the video clips. That's the audio for the video clip. So if you want to take it out, so if we don't... We got Buddy Rich here. If we don't want to hear J.K. Simmons talk about Buddy Rich, we'll just clip that again to adjust the volume and take him all the way to zero. And we can see that when we play it back. Don't worry about what the other guys are thinking. You're here for a reason. He's completely muted. So all you see is him and you hear the song, Glorious Victories. So, like I said, nice and simple. Uh, when you're picking a song, you can either go up here and go, uh, go import and choose the song. So I've got a song on my USB somewhere. Um, music. And let's go Advanced Joy. There's a, a import selected. And we scroll down and there it is. So these two blue these two green, sorry, green bars are your music. The music clips that you've added. But we don't so play that through. Nice song, I'm a fan of it. If you don't want it, we'll just double click it to give it that yellow border and just hit delete and get rid of it. We don't need it, it's taking up space, let's be honest. And, and so you can also choose one from iTunes. So they hit iTunes and it takes you to your music uh, library. And there's a whole bunch of music there, but we've already got our music, so we'll, we'll go on with we'll this. Uh, we'll try that wasted time again. So, yeah, there's all your music. We don't. And you can go sound effects, play an alarm. Not that I think you'd need many sound effects in your vlogs, but you might find one that's relevant, like a, oh no. Yeah. You can also go garage band if you've got any, if you're into making your own tracks or whatever. Um, So yeah, that's pretty much it, I think. We've dropped our clicks in, we've put in transitions where we want them. And once you're happy with it, give it a run through, just to be sure. How did we end up here? This place is horrible. Don't worry about what the other guys are thinking. You're here for a reason. I've already watched it through many times, so I'm happy with it. Once you are, um, you don't have to save anything. iMovie saves. It keeps all your progress. It doesn't change anything when you close the um, program. So, oh yeah, sorry, one more thing. If, you, if your music is track is longer than all the clips you've got, then you're going to want to bring it down. So we're going to just click and drag that to the end because if you notice this little where it's got my movie in 1 minute 28 as I drag out the song to its finish point that's now 159 so even though your video footage will finish the video uh, keeps going as if there's music down there so the music is part of the video and it will keep going until the m music has stopped and there's no more footage. Like there's all, all this blank space, so there's nothing else to play. So it's done. It knows it's done. And so we're all, all good now. Looks like so we'll go. We have a number of options. You can go share, and it comes up with theater, which is another section of iMovie, which I'm not too fond of. Um, email. You can send it via email. Send it to your iTunes. Upload to Vimeo, Facebook, CNN iReport, which I'm not sure why that's there. Um, and so the two options we might we can consider using are File and YouTube. So you hit, try to hit YouTube, 
So you're going to have to sign into your account, which I won't do, but it's got all this, all this sort of stuff. Um, I'm not overly fond of this option, as I just, I just don't, uh, I have trust issues. Um, I don't trust uploading from another program. I find it's just, you go share, and we hit file, and I'll call it KXB101 log number one. If you want to go, we'll keep it at 720, you can't go 1080 apparently, but we'll keep it 720. Um, keep it high def if you can, uh, it just looks nicer. And then we'll hit next, and it'll ask me to uh, find a location to save it. I'll just drop it on my desktop, nice and easy. Hit save. And this, look, you see this blue wheel up here, this blue circle. Now this is the progress wheel as it exports. And as it's exporting, see it starts to tick away like a pie chart. And as it's exporting, you've got a couple of an enhance feature. You've got a just feature here as well. So you can select the clip. You can do a color change. You can adjust colors. You don't you probably don't have to worry too much about this. The um Videos you might, the videos you'll have will probably be uh, enough. Let's, ooh, we can make him warmer. We can make him colder. Let's keep him where he is. You can adjust the contrast, uh, the sat and saturation. That's saturation, sorry. And the other contrast here, and brightness. Um, you can crop the thing if you want. Drop to fill. Ken Burns. Ken Burns is an interesting one. I don't know if you know Ken Burns, but it's got this start and end. So it does, it's, it's sort of like a, an automatic zoom on the clip. If you play that, see it zooms in on him. So that's, but we, uh, we don't want Ken Burns, so we'll just go fit. Oh, and there's my file. Share file was successful. Hit show, and it shows me where I've exported it to. And so, now that's done. We'll give it a playthrough, see how it looks. How did we end up here? Kill. Cool. Right. This playthrough. It is unacceptable that they use their power to keep us voiceless. All that have gone before us say no more. Let me ask you a question, please. Tell them up. That's all well and good. All that's left now to do is to upload to uh, YouTube, right here. So. As you can see, I like S I love uh, Saturday Night Live, Dude Perfect, Jimmy Fallon, all funny stuff. Um, and to upload our video, we're gonna get you're gonna have to sign into your account, obviously, and then we're gonna go up here and go upload, which will take us to this uploading window here. Now here. Select files to upload or drag and drop video files. So I'm going to click that to select it. And there's my video on the desktop. And you hit that and you go open. That's one option. Or you can get the finder and you can click and drag and it gets that green, it lights up green, saying it's got a file and it knows it's, and you drop it and there you go, starts uploading. That's going to take as however long it's going to, so that's how you upload. Give it a, uh, excuse me, a description of what your blog is about. When you're uploading, just remember that uh, you have two, well, you, you're given three privacy settings, but two are ideal for this situation, for when you upload so the tutors can access them. So private, 
is only you can see it unless you give someone special permission. Um, and then you've got public, self-explanatory, everyone can see it anytime. Then you've got unlisted. Unlisted is where the video is on YouTube, but when you search for it, it's not there. It doesn't come up in the results, so you can use this, and it's um, usually you, if you give the link to someone, then that's the way they can see it if you list it as unlisted. Um, but I would, I'd stick to public. You can go and list it if you want, but we'll stick with public. Give yourself some tags, uh, video suggested tags, video blogs. Uh, we'll go KXB one hundred and one, um, QT. Uh, entertainment industries tag whatever you want whatever industry you've, whatever you're talking about in your vlog and then you just wait for that to get going if you are if you're a student that might upload late, uh, towards really late towards the due date and you're worried it won't be uploaded in time so if it's We'll say it's due at midnight, and you started uploading at 11.30, and as it says there, it's got 35 minutes remaining to upload. You'll be in a spot of trouble because you won't, you might think, oh, you're panicking, you're stressing that you won't get it, um, pay, you won't get the URL, paste it in the document, and submit it in time. Uh, it's almost like YouTube have come to our saving grace for this because they are, they put this here, this little bit your video will be live at and giving you a URL. So if we will go open link in new tab, right now it's not going to give us anything because there's nothing there, it's not uploaded yet, but you can copy that copy, or you can Apple, you know, Apple C, and you can paste that in your document and the video will be uploaded to that URL and be accessible at when the video is finished uploading. So uh, that's that's about it. Um, down here you'll come with thumbnails if there's a certain image you want to have shown. And when it's finished uploading, you're going to hit publish. Um, you can hit it now, and uh, that'll be ready when you when it finishes uploading. So uh, yeah. That's about it. The um, the upload process is the same for Windows and um, uh, Mac, Apple. Uh, so um, there shouldn't be too many disparities, differences with that. Uh, it's a very simple process. Um, uh, any troubles, shoot me a message and I'll see if I can help you out. Um, but yeah, all the best for your video blogs for your assessment too. I've been Harry, uh, well I still am Harry, I'm Harry and uh, I'll see you guys around catching the lectures. See you later.